we are unscrewing the hardware from the cabinet and then we're going to unscrew the hardware from the cabinet door. We place a number in a baggie and we keep the hardware um, by number on the doors and the drawers. And we ta actually take the front off of the drawers if we possibly can, and those also get a number. We place the number on both items so that everything gets back to where it originally came from. And we put tape over that number. We're using Smart Strip. One of the important things that we learned about Smart Strip is the thicker that you put it on, the better. So you can see here that I'm putting on a thick layer of Smart Strip on this drawer. Here we are stripping it off after three to four hours of letting that sit. And when it's warm, it works great. And you can see that that comes off pretty easily. But in this case, the temperatures weren't great and I did put on thick layers, um, possibly waited too long before I started to strip. And, uh, we had to do some different measures. One of those measures was putting on plastic. Just meticulously scraping off, but as you can see, it's not coming off very well, even with the plastic being on. This one I've actually washed down, so it's not as bad, but we are definitely going to have to use um, like a, more, a less environmentally friendly product in order to get this off. The product that we decided to go with was this two minute remover and you have to make sure you have heavy duty gloves. You also add a thick layer and then wait two minutes and then start scraping, it worked great. And we got it to the point where we could paint. So we've our, Eric has already primed this cabinet door and now we're painting the color that the client chose. We are now prepping the area around the island. One of the most important things is to put down paper so that you protect your work area and the floor. And we just tape that down. This paper is um, specifically made for painting projects. Paint, if dropped, shouldn't seep through this paper. The smart strip worked extremely well on this island and um, it was quite satisfying to scrape this off in some places. This was a harder section that the smart strip didn't really work on but we were able to scrape off pretty easily with some with some muscle and a good scraper. After we got it all scraped off, one of the most important things is to wipe the island down with soap and water and get it really clean and make sure that all the grooves is fine-tuned and there's just no paint left even up here in these corners, you gotta get that out. And you gotta make sure that everything is completely off as far as 
thick paint goes. Then we, Eric is sanding. We sanded with 220 grit sandpaper just to make that those areas completely smooth. As you can see, we didn't get 100% of the primer off, but that was okay to leave that. The next process is priming. And then our go-to product is Zinzer Shellac, and we'll leave a link below. Um, and we decided to roll this on uh, with a sponge roller. It turns out really beautiful, as you can see. The island and that desk area are completely primed and ready for paint. One of the ways that we protect the inside of the cabinets is we tape off with a 3M product. And this is our process for taping that off and protecting what's inside the cabinets. You don't even actually have to take out stuff from the cabinets if you don't want to. You just make sure you tape the sticky side out, make sure it adheres on the inside really well. You take your 3M product, measure it, rip it off, put that against the tape that you just put on, pull the, the plastic down, and then make sure the plastic sticks well to the sides. We also use that same product to cover the island. Same product, just longer. I think it comes in a 96. So we tape off from the ceiling to the floor. We tape off the complete area of the kitchen where we will be painting. And we make sure that that is sealed off we ended up doing two coats of this color. This was coat number one, and there wasn't 100% full coverage. We love um, the PPG paint, and I'll leave a link below. Once you've got that painted, you rip down the, the walls of plastic, and we're almost home free. After you've pulled off the tape, um, there are sometimes places that need to be touched up. So with a cut-in brush, you just come through with the color and you smooth that out. If you found value in this video, share, like, and subscribe. We're Floor to Lee Home, helping you decorate your home one unique piece at a time.